A wet and stormy Christmas, a New Year's season for Australia and a possible severe tropical cyclone in the South Pacific. Your latest nationwide forecast update. From so on the Australian channel we're taking a look again for the Christmas season forecast update this December 23rd 2023 just a couple of days until the big day and it's looking like a stormy one nationwide with hot and wild weather expected especially across the eastern states. Your latest update from Force 13 Australia if you do end up enjoying this video please consider subscribing and if you'd like to see uh, more leave a like on the video and tell me how we can improve in the comment section down below but without any further ado let's get into the latest forecast picture. So nationwide today we're looking at very hot and hot conditions across Western Australia. That'll extend down to about Perth and into the Wheat Belt and the Goldfields region. Very hot conditions with maxima of 46 degrees Celsius expected around Marble Bar and the mining communities. This will extend into the Northern Territory and parts of Queensland and it'll turn into storms around Central Western Australia and South Australia as well. Some of these could be severe but also severe storms expected across the Eastern States around Brisbane and that'll extend down to Sydney and Canberra and some of those are already starting to fire on the radar at this time so we'll have to watch those very closely with the risk of damaging winds and heavy rainfall. So here's a look at the forecast models. You can see we're taking a look at the Access G3 rainfall forecast first of all. You can see this low pressure system will drive thunderstorm activity Christmas Eve and into uh, Christmas morning across Victoria and New South Wales and these thunderstorms will intensify in the evening across New South Wales and Queensland. A very similar picture on Christmas with uh, on Boxing Day rather with these severe storms contracting to the coast before a drier picture takes hold in to December 27th, 28th and into the 29th. Maybe a bit of rain for the southwestern corner of Western Australia but we'll be watching that one closely. And then as we enter New Year's um, Eve we're going to be seeing these storms fire nationwide with significant thunderstorms expected to develop around New Year's Eve. Close to the fireworks actually around Brisbane in and into southeast Queensland. Now let's roll this through again, play it through a little bit faster. You can see a lot of storm activity across the eastern states caused by this low pressure system that will sit itself over Victoria and this will result in showery and wet conditions for Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania and then stormy conditions for New South Wales and Queensland over the Christmas period. So we're going to be taking a look at the forecast right now for forecast temperatures. You can see very hot conditions across the 23rd and the 24th nationwide. Um, then uh, slowing it right down for Christmas Day you can see a cool start across South Australia before it heats up very fast for Western Australia, parts of New South Wales and Queensland. We're going to be seeing a very warm day there, but this low pressure system will move through and keep things relatively cool for Victoria and parts of New South Wales as well. We'll speed it up again. You can see the severe heat that we're expecting across Western Australia and into the Northern Territory, but overall, not a bad forecast for the next week temperature-wise. Most of the major cities staying around average. Perth will be slightly above average with daytime max, but probably approaching 37 degrees on one or two days. Northern Territory average, Queensland as well fairly average for this time of the year and maybe one or two spots in the south remaining cooler than average. So now we're going to be taking a look closer at New South Wales and southeast Queensland. Just look at how intense these storms will be Christmas Eve. There'll be no looking for Christmas lights around Brisbane as these supercell storms are expected to move through and these could definitely be bringing the risk of heavy rainfall, um, damaging winds and large hailstones. Now those red and blacks are very heavy intense thunderstorms that we're going to be seeing on on the forecast model so we're just going to be watching those very closely and once again they do develop around New Year's Eve this is a look at the 31st of December you can see New Year's Eve we could be seeing some storm activity across southeast Queensland but that's looking very long range so we're going to have to keep monitoring that. Uh, just before we switch over to the forecast models, this is a look at the nationwide picture. You can see a lot of cloud activity in central western Australia bringing rainfall and these thunderstorms as well now starting to fire across New South Wales, some of which could be severe. In fact, some of them have been severe warned. I'm going to take a look at the forecast models on Winnie.com, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so starting things off, looking at the storm activity across central New South Wales at this time, you can see intense thunderstorms moving across the central regions, about to collide with the Great Dividing Range. You can see Dubbo, Orange, Griffith, those communities experiencing some pretty significant thunderstorms at this time, plenty of lightning, possibly severe weather occurring under these as well, with some of these storms warned for dam damaging locally destructive winds and heavy and possibly intense rainfall, and also isolated reports of large hailstones falling. These storms already starting to fire in Queensland as well around Charleville and up towards Roma and we're going to be seeing these storms uh, throughout today organize into probably a squall line ahead um 
south of Huandan and then probably into the coalfields and Great Dividing Range regions and into southeast Queensland where they could impact Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Lismore, Coffs Harbour and down towards Sydney as well. So we're going to jump over to the forecast and have a little look at what's going on here. You can see a lot of lightning expected across the uh, state. These storms will hopefully ease before they reach the metropolitan areas but once again we could be seeing just that evening squall pattern blast through Brisbane again tonight probably at around 10 p.m local time. Um, again very heavy rainfall expected in isolated regions maybe up to 50 millimeters in places and that's sort of the story for the next 10 days on and off just these uh, pulse thunderstorms firing which will organize into supercell activity and then they'll just blast through like Brisbane or a metropolitan area um, on the coastline so it's a bit of a uh, it's a hit and miss forecast as with all thunderstorm activity but it is something that we're going to be watching very closely because these storms could be severe and over the next three days there are places that will receive upwards of 100 millimeters of rain across parts of Queensland, New South Wales and into Victoria. Um, this could cause isolated flash flooding especially associated with this low pressure system. Melbourne could be seeing up to 25 millimeters of rain on Christmas Day so it's going to be a very wet Christmas that's for sure. Bendigo possibly up to 50 millimeters. Canberra could be seeing 50 millimeters and in towards Sydney as well we could be seeing significant amounts of rainfall fall from this low pressure system and thunderstorm activity. Um, over the next 10 days, it, the picture only gets wetter. It looks like the majority of the rainfall is going to be concentrated around southeastern New South Wales and north um, eastern Queensland, where there are places that will receive about 150 to 250 millimetres. I'm going to be watching that closely because, once again, there is the risk of flooding there. It looks like the majority of the rain, though, is completely done and dusted from Cyclone Jasper, thank goodness, because so much of the stuff has fallen. Now, as promised, we're going to jump over to the South Pacific and have a look at a particular potential severe tropical cyclone towards the end of the forecast. You can see with the GFS model uh, as we go up towards, I think it's Thursday, we see something start to develop over here north of Fiji and then into Friday the 29th of December. We see this cyclone start to wrap itself up, winds of around 30 knots and it gets named probably on Friday evening into Saturday morning where it looks like it's going to impact Fiji as a severe tropical cyclone, category 3 winds or stronger. In fact the Access G3 model having a very strong cyclone pass towards the eastern part part of Fiji there. So we're going to be watching this one closely as well on the AU channel, so make sure you are subscribing to receive the latest updates on the storm situation across the AU and South Pacific region. Nationwide though, looking fairly good around Christmas time, so we don't really need to cover much of that. Just hot weather as you as we saw earlier on in the video and possibly isolated thunderstorm activity as well. So yeah, just before I jump over to the graphical Christmas forecast, you can see uh, if we take a look at the Christmas day weather, uh, the daytime maximum at least, it's going to be stifling hot across parts of Western Australia and the Northern Territory. But it looks like, as I've said before, conditions remain mild. In fact, in some places, cool across parts of Victoria and New South Wales, Canberra, a top of 19 degrees Celsius, but Melbourne will be very humid and wet as well because of this low pressure system and it looks like a warm front will actually push its way into Victoria. Very rare they are. You can be seeing some pretty intense rainfall totals fall as a result, especially in the afternoon and evening. And those thunderstorms that will fire around southeast Queensland and New South Wales, they could be very intense as well, with some places possibly picking up up to 100 millimetres on Christmas Day itself as a result of these thunderstorms. So we're going to have to watch this forecast closely. Stay tuned for the AU channel to see the latest information on these thunderstorms and we bring you live coverage if they do turn very dangerous but um, we're going to be it's just really hoping for the best at this point because it looks like Christmas Day is going to be a washout across much of the eastern states unfortunately. Just look at how much rainfall and storm activity is expected. But that is probably the latest that we have. We're going to jump over to the graphical Christmas forecast. So here's a look at the Christmas Day forecast. Valor the 23rd, uh, 23rd of December 2023 from the ECMLBF model. You can see hot conditions across uh, the lower west region of Western Australia. They'll extend into the wheat belt and the gold fields. Very hot conditions in the states north. They'll extend into the Northern Territory around Tennant Creek. They could be seeing a maximum of 44 degrees Celsius. And those hot temperatures will also extend into parts of Western Queensland before they turn into stormy conditions across Northern Queensland and central Queensland and even into southeastern Queensland, we're going to be seeing some severe storms around the evening time. These severe storms could bring intense rainfall, destructive winds and large hailstones from the organized supercell or squall structures that we'll be seeing on that evening. Now the low pressure system that's going to be causing these storms will also extend um, these, this thunderstorm activity into the Capital Territory and into parts of southern New South Wales and Victoria. We'll be seeing showery conditions on the back end of this front around Melbourne and into Adelaide. We'll also be seeing showers on the north 
northern parts of Tasmania and showery and cool conditions expected across New Zealand so overall for the east of Australia it is looking like a very unsettled Christmas day and it might be a Christmas that is best spent indoors away from the thunderstorm activity make sure you're staying safe don't go outside if there's an intense thunderstorm overhead uh, hail uh, hailstones could cause a lot of woes uh, same with lightning strikes as well we've already had a couple of uh, lightning strikes hit people unfortunately across the nation especially in far north Queensland um, but looking like the only city that's going to escape the rainfall and the um, nasty weather is Perth, which could be seeing once again a hot Christmas of around 35 degrees Celsius. So good weather over there. That's all from us from the Christmas forecast. Make sure you're staying tuned for further updates by subscribing to the channel. The support has been fantastic over the past uh, week or so. There'll be more updates coming out on this situation. Leave a like on the video while you're at it and tell me how we can improve in the comment section down below. But that's all from me and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Bye bye. Thank you for watching our content this update. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to get more updates covering all things weather and geophysics impacting Australia and the Oceania region. Subscribe to our other channels for more content from across the network and be sure to check out our website where you can find free access to floater and radar imagery and articles on everything weather and much more. If you wish to support us directly, you can purchase some of our merchandise. We have a wide variety of clothing and homeware. Or you could become an Ultimate Fan, which is the best way to directly support us, granting you some sweet perks and offers, including features in our custom storm animations, live streams, and much more.